and we're gonna get into this chest. Now this thing is huge. Anyways, Dami, how are you doing today, friend? I know that you said uh, the last time I talked to you about it. I know that you said you kind of went back on collecting a bit, like you're kind of not collecting as much as before. Hopefully, you've been able to find some not a nice One Piece cards because some of those cards look amazing. I'm not a One Piece fan, so I know nothing about One Piece. Uh, but I know Akira Agawa does a lot of One Piece artworks, and I'm a big fan of her. So <laughs> I'm I'm really tempted to add One Piece cards to my collection, even though I've never watched the show or read the books. By the way, anybody else in chat that is here stopping by, make sure you say uh, make sure you say hi, so that way we know you're here. Yeah, believe me, I understand that. Right now, if it wasn't for me... Um, how do I put this? If it wasn't for me... Oh, not having a family. Like, not having kids and a wife or a girlfriend. I probably wouldn't be able to really buy anything from my personal collection. Because right now, I'm currently saving for a house and stuff like that, too. And then I'm also trying to pay off some of my debts and loans from when I was in school. There's stickers in here and I'm trying to get them out. So. This chest thing is really cool. I'm not going to put it all on screen. Like it's a nice little storage thing. But I don't think I would ever keep it. Because it's a little bit too flimsy. If it was like a solid chest that would be cool. Anyways. So let's talk about this product real quick. This is the Paldia Adventure Chest. So first thing first, it comes with a mini portfolio. Now I'm gonna say this much, I don't like this mini portfolio because this should be the front. This should be the back side. I don't like the Pokeball being on the back and the Pokemon, or the Pokemon being on the back, Pokeball being on the front. You also get a deck box with a very beautiful promo card. The deck box though, it's cardboard. It is literally flimsy cardboard. Definitely not something worth adding to the collection. But then you get this promo. This is the reason I bought this box. Because I think this promo goes for like 10 bucks. And I'm like, you know what? I can get this thing for 30 bucks from Amazon. Give me six packs and give me some extra cards to add to the collection. So this is going into a personal collection. Whether it's gradable or not. Um, I'm really happy about this. And I know you get some Cosmos of cards that I want to add to the collection anyways. So here's your beautiful card. It's got Mousehold, Palmot. And Sprigatito, which are three cards that are also featured, as you can see there. Then you got your Palmot, which is a Cosmo foil. Beautiful. This is the Paldean, um, I think Paldea Evolved one. Then you got a Palmy as a Cosmo, which is beautiful. This is one of my favorite Palmy artworks because it's done by Soso. -So. Very cool artist. And then you got Tandem Mouse as a Cosmo foil, which is awesome to see as well. So... Getting a few of these beautiful cards as Cosmos Foil is definitely worth it as well. So now you kind of can see why I bought this box. Because all of these are going into the personal collection. Even though none of them are like probably high dollar. Just spending 15 or so dollars on promos. And then spending another 15 to get six packs. Seems like a good deal. So there's the four promos that come in the promo pack that you will find in the box. Which, once again, I would not recommend keeping this box or at least keeping your playable decks in there because it is flimsy cardboard. Uh, I recommend something a lot sturdier. And then you get cards that are in this pack. I'm going to try to get these out. I like that they feel like they're held pretty sturdy. But at the same time, it also feels kind of uh, like they could easily be damaged in there. So your first card, this is one that I'm adding to the personal collection. It is a Sprigatito promo. Sprigatito EX with Scratch and Magical Leaf. 100% not a playable card. But it is done by Takuya, who is an artist that I absolutely love adding to my collection. And then you get Mousehold EX, which I'm just going to leave this one sealed. Because this is the same one from Paradox Rift. And I believe I already have this mouse hold in my collection. Although I got to say, this one feels like it sparkles really well. Look at the camera right now. Look at that sparkle effect. Oh my goodness, that is glorious. 
I don't know if the plastic has something that's helping it sparkle like that or if that's just the card itself. But that sparkle is just moving around. I don't know if it's translating well on stream, but it is looking great on my camera at the moment. Wow. So I will go ahead and put that back here to the side. And last but not least, you get a Paw Mod EX. This I'm actually going to take out. It's another one that has a great sparkle effect with this plastic film on it. But I am going to go ahead and take this out of the sleeve because I know I need a Paw Mod EX for my binder. It is one of the few EXs that I'm collecting. And by the way, that sparkle effect is absolutely on the card itself. It is not because of the plastic film because you can still see the sparkles going through. Could be my lighting that makes it do that, but I feel like this card is extra sparkly. We've come a long way from the dull Mimikyu EXs. So, adding those to the personal collection. Now, I gotta say, those are pretty good. I gotta say, that is, um, if I was to split this box in half, now, give or take, this box is retailed at $49.99. I would have never paid that price. But paying $15 for everything we've seen so far, considering I would say if $15 for the packs is also pretty fair, it's pretty cool. You also get a Pikachu Squishy. He is squishy. Look at him. He squishes. That is awesome. I am going to put Pikachu Squishy right up here with the beautiful plushie army, which if you look up there, there's my router, but you got all the plushies back there as well. All right. So with that being said, let's go ahead and move into our six packs. Today, we're hoping for the optimal three SIRs. We're hoping for one from this box and one from each of the boxes that we're going to open up. Now, the pack selection in here, I actually like. You got Scarlet and Violet and Paldea Evolved, which I still need cards from. You got two Obsidian Flames and two Paradox Rift. I think what I'll do is I'll do it in this order from uh, least hype to most hype for me. I think I will end on Paldea Evolved just because there's a chance for that insane Magikarp right now, which uh, if you don't know, Magikarp's price is stupid right now. Like, stupid ridiculous. So let's see what we can get out of our first pack of Scarlet and Violet. I still need Miriam. I had pulled a Miriam on launch, sold it because I needed money. So let's see if we can get a Miriam to add to the personal collection today. These cards feel very high quality compared to what we're normally used to seeing, which is pretty nice. You got a cloth and a Nihilate. Okay, so Scarlet and Violet let us down. It is going to be the only Scarlet and Violet base pack that we open up today. That is fine. Now let's move on to an Obsidian Flames. See if we can get something out of here. Last time I opened up Obsidian Flames, we pulled a Zard. So if I pull another Zard, it is going to be a Zard available for sale unless I can grade it. Because I only need one for the binder. If we do pull an SIR, I would prefer... Ooh, hold on. We got an IR. Let's go ahead and move water energy out of the way. We're gonna. It looks like we got a double hitter. Alright, so let's see what we ended up getting. We got EV Reverse. Varum, okay. IR Varum, that's pretty nice. <laughs> oh, that goes well together. And the Reverum EX. Wow, talk about uh, matching cards. That's pretty cool. I will take it. That's one thing I got to say is as, as much crap as I can give Obsidian Flange for not being high value, every time I open it, I always seem to pull something that's kind of fun. And pulling these two bangers, absolutely awesome. Personally, I would love the pulls to come from uh, Paldea Evolved because that's the set that I need the most cards out of here from, but I'll take it. All right, Obsidian Flames pack again. A Lightning Energy. And let's see if we can get something else out of Obsidian Flames. You got the Kamiya. Uh, Lechonk, which is very nice. Serena. Lycanroc. So we got Wiglet. Come on. Volcarona. And Palafin. Okay. That's okay. That's okay. Let's go ahead and move on to Paradox Rift. Now, Paradox Rift, I own about four or five SIRs from. But I know I'm missing Iron Valiant, which is my chase. 
So if we pull an SIR, that is what I'm hoping for. Although we'll say I wouldn't mind Roaring Moon either because both of those cards are amazing. You got Crocolore, Ampapom, Snorlax Doll, Elekid, Parasol Lady, and Palkia. Okay. Palkia is pretty cool. Don't think it's very playable, but pretty cool card. Unfortunately, I don't think we got any of the playable cards out of that uh, pack. And uh, Paradox Rift has quite a few playable cards. All right, this pack feels like strangely like heated, like like it melted together. All right, last pack of Paradox Rift, and we're down to the second to last English pack. So you got Tandem Mouse, Webble, Wismer, Doe Blade, Defiance Vest. Yeah, Charcadet. Come on. Unfortunately, it's just a reverse low kicks, which actually is a pretty stunning card in terms of artwork. Like, let's just take a moment and appreciate that card. It's beautiful. And an Aga Slash. So, unfortunately, Paradox Rift did not give us anything. I know it gave us Turbo Energize, which is a decently solid trainer card. But now we're moving on to our final pack. There are only two cards from Paldea Evolved that I would kill to have in here. It's either Magikarp or um, Chiyu SIR. And it's not because Chiyu went up in price. It's just it's an Akira Agawa card that I have yet to pull. So if I could pull one of those, that would be amazing. Unfortunately, we only got a Corvus Squire, but it looks like we're going to at least have a double rare in the back here with hey slow king you know what i will take that i think slow king i need for my binder i will take that awesome slow king ex card i still remember the full art of this guy it was like the first card i ever pulled from this set and i absolutely loved it really awesome card all right, so when it comes to anything else in the set, I don't think there's much to write home about. I'm going to put these energies to the side. I spent $32 on this box on Amazon. And give or take, you could determine if you think it was worth $32. I had fun opening it. I have a lot of cards that are going into the personal collection. Everything here is going into the binder. I'll put these in the background and we also got pikachu added up there so i gotta say these are pretty good uh pretty good cards to add to the collection